Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So it is summertime and it's quite hot outside. So I bought this thing right here for Bella and the puppies and we're gonna try it out today. I will leave this linked down below. I picked it up off of Amazon, but I'm gonna review it and see if we like it or not. So this is my first time putting a dog in it and going for a walk, so wish me luck. I'm going to put this in the front. <laughs> Okay, so I have her in it. She's shaking right now. She's a little scared. You have to get all four paws in it. And then it does have a little thing here to go on the collar. So just in case they fall out or jump out or whatever, um, they won't run away. They will probably get very hurt. How do you like it, Belle? So the sides here is supposed to keep it, them cool. She's shaking, you guys. She is so scared right now. I think it's because she's she can't use her paws. So, she wants to get out. So it is very comfortable. I would say that if I moved it to my back, it would probably be more comfortable. But since this is Bella's first time using this, I want it in the front so I can watch her and make sure she's not trying to jump out or anything like that. But yeah, she's doing good so far. She's not shaking no more. She was only shaking for about like three minutes, I would say. It is a little workout because she is a little bit heavier than you think. So yeah, I would definitely get another one of these for my husband so he can take one of the dogs and then I can take one of the dogs. My thoughts were I was going to have this one in front and then have one in back so then I could bring two dogs when I'm going for walks. So might try that. There is a different one that I wanna try where their paws are all out. It's gonna make me feel like they're more, more secure in there but I feel like that might hurt them after a while just like with it rubbing on their fur I'm not sure this is our yard right now so overgrown with grass we need to mow but as you can see by all of the red flags we have some people coming out to do some work around our house. That is our cat house right there. It's almost done. There's Bella. Bella, how are you doing? You like it out here? She doesn't know what's going on. But yeah, I have to get some more work done. We have a dumpster and I have to take all of this stuff and move it into the dumpster. But I think we're gonna take Bella inside because she's getting a little antsy here. And I think she wants to use the bathroom and maybe get something to drink. 
because I just took her from her crate and put her in this. So usually when they come out of their crates, they have to go outside and go to the bathroom. Hey, Bella. Hey, honey. Bella, can you go outside? Yeah, she needs to go potty. Hey, Bella. And there she is. So I am currently editing the video and I realized that I just stopped recording. So I thought I would end the video fast. Overall, I really like the dog carrier. I want to put the puppies in it. We will definitely have to get something bigger for the rest of the dogs, especially Zoe, because she's quite, she's quite big, and there's no way she will fit into that. But I do like it. I'm wondering if we go for long walks or hikes, if they will overheat in that carrier. Now they're not supposed to because there's vent flows or air flows on each side so it's supposed to cool down the dog but we'll have to see. So I will leave this linked down below in the description bar if anyone wants to buy one and try it out. I also have an Amazon storefront and that is linked down below too. In my Amazon storefront, I have all of my favorite things, all of the dog's favorite toys, some favorite treats of theirs. Um, if you breed dogs, we have in there supplies that you may need when breeding dogs. Yeah, a little bit of everything, so make sure you check that out. I'm gonna let you guys go, and I will see you guys in my next video.